Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jody. I'm here with the unboxing of the November base box for BoxyCharm. It's $27.99 with $1.99 handling fees. Shipping is included after tax. It's like $32 and change. You get to customize one item. So let's jump right in. I'm a little under the weather, so I'm going to sound congested. This month's theme is It's Giving Giftable Glam. I already took a sneak peek. I'm not happy with this box at all. And honestly, this is kind of the reason why I originally canceled BoxyCharm. So first things first, from LES, which is Lower East Side, it's a cream bronzer. I shouldn't even be having this in my box. I made a point of, in my beauty profile, putting that I don't want things like bronzers, blushes, anything like that. Because I don't wear them. Uh, I mainly want skincare at this time. So, on every subscription I have, I made sure that it's marked in beauty profiles. Well, the ones that have a beauty profile, that I don't want makeup at this time. One thing I do, if it's a choice, I'll choose a makeup item, like my choice was a makeup item, but otherwise, when it comes to, you know, the profile, no makeup, especially cream-based makeup because I have oily, acne-prone skin. So this is from LES Beauty. It is a cream bronzer. It says a lightweight, creamy bronzer with a natural finish that melts into your skin for an effortless sun-kissed glow. Let's see if I can get this open. All right, this is what it looks like. This is the color, and it's funny because they sent me an email with a $6 coupon saying that they matched me with the wrong shade, and I'm like, what are they talking about? What what did they could what could they have possibly matched me with the wrong shade for? Because my choice was an eyeshadow palette, and I'm thinking maybe it's a lipstick or a lip gloss. I never, in my wildest dreams, I should have thought it would be a bronzer. So yeah, will not be wearing this. If my niece does not want it, it will go into the giveaway that I am currently setting up. So, yeah, it's in the color Skyscraper. And it's funny because the back of the box says, not for resale. So, yeah. So, I don't know about that. But either way, I won't be using that. Second thing I will not be using, which, I mean, I'm sure other people would be over the moon for, but I am not. And it's the... Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. I believe this was a BoxyCharm exclusive. This retails for $42. This is what it looks like. Very pretty packaging. Very sleek. This, as I said, retails for $42. It says, a perfect pairing of Natasha's iconic cheek formulas. This duo features a lightweight hydrating cream blush and a luminous powder highlighter in two shades that flatter all skin tones. Both formulas can be applied with a brush or fingertips. It's all you need for on-the-go glow. That's what it looks like. It's very pretty, it is, but I would never use that. The highlighter or the blush, I don't use cream products, and I'm not using makeup at this time because I'm having issues with my skin. So, again, this will definitely go into the giveaway that I'm currently building up. I think I'm going to go with when I reach 200 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. So I'm like building up a bunch of products to give away and this will go into it. Okay, the next product is a skincare product and it's from TYNT Skin or um, I think it's called Tint. Yeah, Tint Skin. I know they have those tinted under eye creams. And this is the Reveal Spa Water Gel Mask. It retails for $68. This is what it looks like. I already took it out of the packaging. And it's just a face mask, but it's a hydrating face mask. So, again, it's not something I would use. I'm sorry, this is sliding all over this thing. But um, I can definitely re-gift this or give this, you know, to a family member or a friend or even put it in my giveaway. So this retails for $28. It says reveal beautiful, hydrated, and glowing skin with this refreshing and revitalizing spa water gel mask fortified with hyaluronic acid, cucumber, and melon extracts. It refines the skin with hydration for finer looking pores and overall healthy, radiant glow. So I wouldn't mind this if it wasn't 
a hydrating mask. But again, I still don't mind it because I do have people that I can give this to. So it's not like it's like money wasted or anything. So the next item is from Tarte. And it is the Maracuja Juicy Lip. And it's in the shade Orchid. And I already took it out the box. That's what it looks like. Kind of looks like a marker. And I'm on the shelf if I'm going to keep this or not. But I'll show you guys. I mean, it looks like it'll just be kind of balmy with a hint of color. So. And the only other Tarte product I own is an eyeliner. So I just might keep it. So this retails for $21, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm. It says, get that cushiony pout you've always dreamt of with this all-in-one vegan balm, gloss, color, and treatment. Features 10 plus antioxidant rich fruits to smooth and nourish while the cushion comfort complex instantly plumps and smooths the appearance of pesky lip lines. This is a mouthful. Okay, okay. The Smira Shine formula is always comfortable, never sticky, and smells like coconuts. All right, on to the last item and my choice. And my choice was the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Color Palette. And I there's another... Um, excuse me, I'm sorry, YouTuber who unboxes boxes and I had watched her unboxing and I knew I absolutely wanted this. It was just a gorgeous palette. So when Choice came around, I went up there, I think it was between Item Beauty pa uh, Item Beauty palette and um, I can't remember the, other, the name of the other brand, but it's like a face palette from Ofra, I believe. And I didn't want either of those. I don't support either of them. So I was more than happy to pick the Luna Beauty palette. I was so surprised to see it there. But this retails for $48. Let me get this open. This I'm absolutely keeping. It is simply gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. A bunch of nude mattes, pinky colors, soft colors, and just a row of I guess shimmers, glitters. I don't know what you call it. I know nothing about makeup, really. But this retails for $48. It says Soft and Romantic 18 Well Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know what that means, 18 Well. Okay. Um, 18 Well Eyeshadow Palette of Neutrals and Soft Pinks featuring 6 shimmers and 12 mattes. Again, it is $48. Happy with it. The only thing that I'm really happy with in the entire box so for a recap, I chose the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette as my choice. Um, I received the Tint Skin Reveal Gel Mask, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm in the shade Orchid, the LES Lower East Side Cream Blonde Bronzer in Skyscraper, and the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo in the shades, what is that? Glow and pinkish beige. Yeah, I don't know. To a makeup lover, this would have been the dream box because you only received one skincare item. But on the beauty profile, I did click on the section that says that I want mostly skincare. So for me personally, this is not... It is not the perfect box because I only got one skincare item and it's item I can't use because I have oily acne prone skin. But it is what it is. I kind of still like the surprise of BoxyCharm. Not that this was a good surprise, but I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. So tell me what you think. I don't know. Just looking at it, I'm like, this is the reason why I had canceled before. But they do have their good moments. I don't know. All right. I thank you guys for watching. And I thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Sorry for that noise. <laughs>